up hello and bonjour to everybody how are you guys doing today so what are we doing this this fine fine morning today i wanted to bring you guys a very simple easy and classic christmas glam makeup i've been seeing lately more and more these crazy intense over the top looks and for some people that's great but others just want to do a nice simple makeup i was from that long long ago era where makeup was just launching on the internet on youtube so i got a lot of more basic and how-to tutorials and that's kind of how I, I basically learned to do makeup and i find that's a little bit harder to come across nowadays so i just wanted to do a very simple any standard neutral palette christmas glam so you'll need some sort of a nude palette and basically a red lipstick face do as you wish and i think most people have mascara and eyeliner so my hope is that this is just a very simple and informative easy tutorial for a christmas look for you this year so i am personally going to be using the iconic london day to slay eyeshadow palette but i just wanted to quickly drop in a couple of others i have even more you really just need your standard neutral palette, whether it's small or big. I think most neutral palettes nowadays have at least one or two browns and some sort of a shimmery gold. This, for example, is the Rachel palette from the Friends collab. And as you can see, we have a couple of browns, nudes, and I mean, it's a little bit deeper, but some sort of gold. Or as well, if you get Glossy Box for last month, we have the, well, I forget what it's called, but this eyeshadow palette, which is... It's so stunning. I still need to, I need to do some looks with it. But again, basically you have your couple of browns and a gold. So I think this look is universally accessible. Does that make sense? I'm blabbering on. Let's just get going on the look. But yes, I just wanted to give a lovely traditional Christmas glam. This is pretty much my go-to year to year. All right, guys, let's get going and let's dive in. So of course my face is already primed and I did a little bit of an eyelid primer on my lids But basically we're gonna start as usual in the crease So one tip I do have is people think you know when they're blending up the color that they have to start in the crease No, just go completely deep into your crease as you can and just and stay in there. That's it Just stay and then with a cleaner brush or a lighter color that is the stuff that you blend up. Don't directly add color up here. That's not going to do you any favors unless you're going for that kind of dramatic look. But tip number one. So on that note, we're going to start off with taupe de taupe, which sounds very much so like something that I would say. And that's going in the crease in the fashion that I just discussed. All right, and here we are after that first color. So it's still nice, the shape, the way it is, but I just wanna soften it up and blend it up. And I'm just taking an even more fluffy brush and no color, no nothing, blending that up. And you can see the difference right away. This one, you can, <laughs> excuse me, see the line here, you can't really, it, it softly blends away. Next, I'm going to go in with a deeper color, and that's going to be this dark matte brown, Deep Soul, and that's on the outer crease. Tip here, literally, you'll see, I just stamp onto the outer corner, and then in a similar fashion to the crease color, I just kind of squish my brush in, and whatever's left on the brush, drag it in a little bit. But don't worry about blending it too, too much. Just get the color on, and then we'll go back and fix it up. And this is what we kind of have after. So going back in with that last brush and lightly touching the previous color, similar to the way we blended up the crease color, we're just gonna go on the very outer edge, hold the brush further away so it's a softer blend, and take your time. Buff it away very slowly, have your eggnog, listen to some Christmas music, and enjoy. Again, see? Awesome. Not so awesome. Great. 
that's looking really, really awesome so far. Next, we're gonna, what's Christmas without gold? And this is the kind of standard typical Christmas look I would say I do pretty much every year. And of course, when you think of Christmas, you think of gold. I mean, green and, green and red, but not for makeup in that sense. So we're gonna go in with the brightest, most yellow gold in this palette, which is 24 karat gold, and it, it sure is. And that's just gonna go all over the lid. So I do like to start in the inner corner so that I get my shape in, and then I kind of pull it back. And you'll see afterwards, we can blend the two colors together. And a quick side note here, if this kind of yellow bright bright gold isn't up your alley, use whichever one you prefer. I mean, this palette alone has, what, four different tonalities, so whatever floats your boat, whatever works. I personally would probably have gone for something a bit deeper or more coppery. And back to that first brush, I'm not really putting any more color on it, just doing a little very light dabby dab to make sure it blends seamlessly into the outer edge. And you can see here we already have this really really lovely eye. We're gonna finish with the under eye. Nothing too crazy or special here and we'll use the same colors but again you're welcome to use some different ones. But I'm gonna start with taupe de taupe that first one and just buff out the under eye and then we'll add a little bit of the darker color after. Alright, so what I did there was, again, using even the same brushes, gently buffed out the under eye and just added a little bit on the outer third half of that dark color because I don't want it to make my under eye too heavy, but overall it kind of closed off the look, if you will. So last thing with eyeshadows, optional for you, but we're going to do an inner corner color. I'm trying to think which one I would really like. This one is a bit bright. I'm gonna mix, have some sort of a champagne-y gold color. And depending on how bright you want it, oh my goodness, I put a lot on. But it's Christmas! <laughs> Just, you can use a brush, you can use your finger. Sometimes I like using a finger and whatever's left over, I typically do the whole nose and upper lip situation. Next, totally optional, I don't always do it, but I thought I would for today. If you have a kind of nude eyeliner, I'm gonna put that in my waterline today to just really open up and brighten my look. I feel like Christmas looks should be a bit more fresh and bubbly and fun, but you know, whatever floats your boat. and see that automatically my eyes look a little bit more alert. And next I'm gonna finish off the eyes quickly. Basically, I use the NYX Epic Ink Liner almost all the time. It's so good and affordable. Typically, I like to do my wing out and then stop at about the middle of the eye with my eyeliner, but I wanna do lashes today, so I am gonna do a thin line all the way in. Optional for you if you want to do eyelashes, but I feel like that's gonna add a bit of a pizzazz to the look for Christmas So I'm gonna quickly do that and I'll be right back Ta-da! Here are the eyes after I did a little bit more of an eyeliner First of all than I planned to but second of all I was like it's Christmas Let's be a little bit more fancy shall we but automatically you can see with liner and lashes even before I put on the falsies the eyes are popping. So next, 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 next. What is Christmas without a red lip? Still Christmas, but you know what I mean. So I'm just gonna go over a classic but slightly different red lip and also do a trick that I used to do back in the day that I'm bringing out of the archives for you guys. Basically, I am gonna do a red lip, but this one, it's a little bit different. I don't know how to describe this color. It's still red. It comes off more red on the lip, but it's 
it's not like that kind of red. Do you know what I mean? It's a little bit more of a nudey type of red. But it still works, it still turns out fabulous. And I'm gonna line my lips with the same color and let's get going. Kapow, like that, it's Christmas. <laughs> Point here is basically use whichever red works for you, suits you, float your boat. Whether it's a hot bright red or a deeper red, which one do I have? This one by MAC, oh my goodness, this is like a hot orange red. That would have been pretty cool too. But see what works for you, what suits the shadow that you picked out. This just happens to be one that I'm absolutely loving lately, but let us go on to that little Christmas trick. If you were on the internet back in the day, you would have seen this. This was quite popular and I just, I did it every Christmas, probably from 2012 to 2015, 16, something like that. The gold eyeshadow that you previously used for your lid or another one, tappity tap tap that onto your finger and then tappity tap tap that onto your lips. <laughs> now the amount you put on is up to you. I'm seeing little chunky so I'm doing my best to pat them out. And then if you like you can go back in with the lip liner or the lipstick and just color in some patches that are a little too gold. But for the most part, try to focus that on the middle of the lips and it just gives this really subtle, lovely golden glow. And your look is complete. So yes guys, this is the final Christmas look. Super easy, super classic, and just straightforward, no gimmick, no BS, excuse my language. And you can glam it up or down as you see fit. You cannot do the gold on the lips, you can take away the lashes, or you can add glitter on the lid. I just wanted to give a lovely, simple tutorial for Christmas. Classic, traditional, and really great and suitable for all. Really nowadays there's just so many complicated over the top like mind bending creative tutorials. You don't need that. You don't. It's fun to have but you can just do a lovely classic look and it's stunning. Alright you guys, thank you so so much for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts down below. If you haven't already, give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. It would mean so much for me to have you on this journey with me. Other than that, other than that, other than that. You can catch me on social media at Slavic Chic. And I will hopefully catch you guys in the next video. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, whatever you celebrate, enjoy this time. And let us all hold it together a little bit longer for 2021. <laughs> Bye.